Dr. Catherine Strongs, you've been outspoken on um, council issues around the country. How do you feel this National Residence Association might influence some of these um, biased or unfair council processes? I think a national organization like this is long overdue. And one of the things is it's going to give strength to all the other smaller groups around the, the country. because. Often groups think they're the only ones facing that problem. Their council is the only one ha who have in initiated a particular stance. And once you find out that this is happening up and down the country, it gives you strength and it actually helps you with strategies and how to deal with it. So I, th I think it's going to be really strong, just not for your average residence association, but for residents in general. Sure, and I mean, as we heard yesterday, it's not only isolated to one or two councils. That's exactly. I mean, my own research, I, you know, the first one I thought, oh, well, this is an aberration. And then when I looked at all the other councils, it wasn't. There was a whole lot of them in, in instilling this paragraph that says you can't criticize council if you're an elected member. It's only when you find out that this is happening around every place that it's a lot more serious and you can do something about it. And um, Catherine, where do you see it going from here? Well, the exciting thing is that I actually have a lot of faith in the in the people who've organized this first initial conference. This was started 2010. There was another start, and there was a big conference, supposedly the start of a national body for ratepayers, and it just didn't get off the ground. And I don't know why, but in this one, um, you it, it was initiated by two groups that are really, really action-packed, and both of them. Um, of the resident associations that have organized this have a history of getting things done. And so I think this is really going to grow, take root, and it's probably going to be in existence for many, many, many years. And I'm so pleased.